where uh, elections are held, so incumbent refuses to hand over power, and then there's a, a, a crisis until the international community had to come in and ensure they win. So if we had that uh, African Court of Justice, probably the current president of Ivory Coast will be in that court for trying to take power through unconstitutional means. Mm. You saw what Mugabe did uh, until they had to sign power. Of course, even as here in Kenya, we have had that situation in 2008. That is one thing. Uh, probably uh, the media we've not covered, uh, not just the issue of what is contained in the Malapo um, agreement, but w it's like uh, we pick what the government tells us. For instance, the Kenyan delegation had so many journalists accompanying the Kenyan delegation, of course, knowing that uh, AU was going to sign a treaty to, to form this court. But then what transpired, I spoke to one of a colleague who was in Addis and says what transpired is that countries, especially from West Africa, in fact led by Nigeria, was the one leading the anti and that court campaign. But you know, for us probably, because uh, uh, maybe we don't want to rub the shoulders the wrong way, we had to say Kenya has pledged this amount of money for the establishment of the court, which is yet to be agreed upon. So. The issues, the underlying issues of, uh, of, of testing up of that code were not brought out clearly. Um, again, clear the, on, 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 the, on. there's one thing we need to get clear here. The agreement, the protocol for the court, which is the African uh, uh, Court of Justice and Human Rights, has already been signed. What the Malabo Protocol does to is to expand its jurisdiction yes, yes. to cover international crimes. That has been agreed on, as in uh, as per last year by the summit.